So you guys already told me that quadrilater quadrilaterals are four-sided figures. If only they were that easy. Well, all of these shapes are four-sided figures and they all are considered quadrilaterals, but they are not the exact same shape. You cannot say a square and a trapezoid are the same shape, although they are both quadrilaterals. So we're going to kind of dig into the hierarchy of quadrilaterals and the different types basically. So just to begin, most quadrilaterals that we are going to discuss this year are parallelograms. And we do have a kite and a trapezoid that do not fall under the parallelogram category. So let's just start off with a par parallelogram. A parallelogram is a figure that has two sets of parallel lines, which means that line AB and line CD are never going to cross. This is kind of what I was talking about when I explained that there are when you um, take those parallel lines, they eventually are going to be in these shapes that we're working with. So to label that, mathematicians use arrows to show that the two lines are parallel. So these arrows are telling me that AB is parallel with CD. And if I wanted to write that down, I could say line AB, put my line on the top, it's actually a line segment. Line segment AB. And then you just draw two parallel lines between them. It's parallel to line CD. And of course, because you can flip them around, you could say line BA is parallel to line DC or whatever. Now, there's another set of parallel lines on here because parallelograms have to have both sets. So line AD and line BC are also parallel. And because these lines aren't parallel with these lines, they have to label them in a different way. So they basically just draw two arrows. So this line is parallel with this line, this line is parallel with this line. And that's basically a parallelogram. Now they can be super long, they can be super skinny, they can be all kinds of different shapes. So let's kind of get into the different types of par parallelograms. The first one is a rhombus. A rhombus is basically a square, which means that all of the sides are the same length. So this one could be three, which means that this one's three, which means that this one's three, and this one's three. Now the difference between a rhombus and a square are the angles. So a rhombus does not have any 90 degree angles. They have two obtuse angles that are opposite of each other, and then two acute angles that are opposite of each other but there are no sides there are no 90 degree angles now you guys might ask remember when i was just talking about how you can have those arrows to show that they're parallel well this one would be parallel with this one and this one would be parallel with this one well there's another way that we can there's, there's more symbols that we can use to determine what shapes are telling us. And that's this red line that they have. Now, they don't always have to be red. But if you put one line in a side and you put it in another side, that means that those two sides are the same length. So because they all have one line, that means that they are all the same length, which tells us that it is a rhombus. Now, we have... A rectangle. Now you guys have been working on rectangles since kindergarten, now we're just making them harder. So a rectangle is a parallelogram that has four 90 degree angles. That's it. That's the only re that's the only way you can um, qualify a rectangle. So it has nothing to do with side lengths at all actually. A rectangle is um, basically a square is a rectangle because it has four 90 degree angles. So a rectangle is not a square, but a square is a rectangle, which is absolutely super confusing to understand. Now let's look at our parallel lines. We have this line is parallel with this one. They're never going to cross ever. This line is parallel with this line. And this line and this line mean that these two sides are the same side length, but similar to this one, this one has all the sides the same. This one, these, 
they're only um, in sets of two, so they add another line to show that this line and this line are the same length, but not that one. So that's nice and simple. Usually with parallelograms, they will add a square into that angle to tell that it's a 90 degree angle. If they don't, then assume that it's not. Then last but not least, a square. So a square has the four 90 degree angles, which means it is a rectangle. All four sides are the same length, so I could draw a line on each side. Or I could draw my arrow saying that this line is parallel with this line, and this line is parallel with this line. And that's parallelograms. Now we're going to show you some of the other types of quadrilaterals. This one is a trapezoid. Now trapezoids can be all kinds of different things. You can have a trapezoid. Ignore the A. Imagine that this trapezoid just goes straight down. That's a trapezoid, but this one's also tra a trapezoid. You could have a trapezoid go inwards. You could have it be really skinny and tall. Trapezoids can be all kinds of different shapes. The one thing that you need to know about a trapezoid is there is one set of parallel lines. So this line is parallel with this line. And that's really, really important for parallelograms. It doesn't matter for trapezoids. It doesn't matter the side lengths. It doesn't matter the angles. It doesn't matter anything except that there's one set of parallel lines. Or parallel parallelograms always have two sets. One, two. One, two. One, two. So there's always two sets where a trapezoid always only has one. So this one is parallel with this one. Now you guys can see. These ones that are going up and over, eventually you can picture them crossing about maybe here. If you kept drawing that line perfectly straight, they would eventually cross. Same with these ones. These ones would eventually make a triangle. That would cross about there too. And last but not least, a kite. A kite is similar to a rhombus, except there are no lines that are parallel. So this line and this line, they may look close, but they're kind of funky. So they will cross eventually, and same with these two. And they're not all the same side lengths. So this, these two are the same length, and these two are the same length, but that's it. And that is classifying quadrilaterals. Let's go back one more time to kind of look at our hierarchy. So parallelogram, they all have to have two sets of parallel sides. Trapezoid. A trapezoid has one set of parallel sides. And then a kite has no sets of parallel sides. 